Hey guys, here we are for round two. You might remember my first video testing out soundproof materials. And since you guys have just a few suggestions on things I can do better, we're gonna go ahead and test all those different things today and some other different things that maybe you haven't thought of. And we'll see what really is the best soundproofing material. So if you guys remember from my first video, I made a bunch of boxes out of the different soundproof materials. Now we're going to be taking that same approach in this experiment, but in that one I used a little Ryobi Bluetooth speaker and just was playing some noise in the background. That speaker wasn't exceptionally loud to begin with, so in this video we're going to be taking it to the next level. Here we have a car horn, which says it's rated for 130 dB, but that remains to be seen. We've got a little 12 volt battery to run the car horn continuously, and again our sound meter. Now the first step we're going to need to do is make the ultimate soundproof box. I'm going to be using as many materials as I can, making it as thick as possible. That way the only thing that is a variation for us is going to be the lid on the box. We're going to be swapping out all the different materials on top, so no sound should escape from the other five sides of the box. So here it is, our soundproof box. We've got a layer of 5 8 inch drywall on the inside, then sono pan, then inch thick particle board, then more sono pan, then finally on the outside, more 5 8 inch fire rated drywall. Now to finish off the top here, I've kind of sanded it flush a bit, there's little peaks and valleys from the drywall. And we're gonna take this top piece, put it in place temporarily, and then I'm gonna route out the hole in the middle. That'll give us a nice flat surface for all of our testing materials to mate to the top. After that, I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna butter the whole top and all the sides with drywall compound, tape the edges, we'll make this nice and airtight. With our box now complete, you see I have it tilted on its side so you can see inside a little better where I have mounted the two car horns and the battery at the bottom. There's a little toggle switch, turn it on and off so I don't die in between tests. We have our DB meter, it's gonna be set up in the same spot for every test. And I have a little bit of foam I'm gonna be putting underneath the box to kind of like vibration sound isolate the box as best I can. Don't know if it matters, but that's what we're gonna do. We have our big stack of different materials here. So without further ado, let's get our baseline rating with nothing on the top and start testing. For every test, I am having this set to max, so we'll only get the max value. Well, the meter didn't like that, so it's definitely very loud. Let's start with our first test, which is just half inch drywall. So next up, we're gonna do drywall plus drywall with green glue in between. And I don't have green glue and it's way too expensive, couldn't get a hold of it. So we got the PL Premium acoustic caulk here. We're gonna give that a shot. Next up, 5 8 drywall. Next up, 3 quarter inch MDF. On to 3 quarter inch plywood. And just for gits and shiggles, we're gonna try just bare sauna pan. And the results are in. Here's a chart of all the raw data. You can see at the top here, we have a control of over 120 dB with no soundproofing in place. That being said, every material tested performed very well, reducing that noise by a huge factor, some more than others, as you will see. So the first thing I'll draw your attention to is that doubling up of any of these materials resulted in a significant noise reduction. However, adding a third layer basically did nothing and I would say it's not worth the time or money doing so. Next we look at the worst performing material which was the foam board. My theory why this is is because the foam didn't lay flat enough to get a good air seal around the box, but it might also just be bad at blocking noise, who knows. All the tests with two pieces of material that sandwiched either sonopan, foam, rubber, or green glue were kind of all over the place and wasn't very easy to predict what materials would work best together. 
With that being said, the overall winner here is 3 quarter inch plywood as it had the lowest average score at 90 dB. Lastly, the best material to go with anything else is in fact the Sonopan as it had the lowest average scores. So in conclusion, if I were to soundproof my shop here today, I would go for the 3 quarter inch plywood with the Sonopan behind it as that was the lowest score achieved at 87 dB and it would be nice to have those plywood walls to hang stuff up in the shop. But in terms of the cheapest bang for your buck, it's hard to argue with two layers of drywall or drywall with Sonopan behind it. So I hope this video helped you decide what to do in the future for your own soundproofing. And I know you guys will let me know what I did wrong in the comments down below and what different things I can try next time. And maybe we can do this again soon. See you next time.